Touch the Earth, Kiss the Sky by Diotima Mantinia. Hopefully that's semi-cracked. Uh, allowing the rational mind to welcome magic and spirituality. This is a Llewellyn um, published book. Um, you're getting like 19 chapters. Um, it kind of like it starts um, statues of um, the stations of the sun, two sciences on um, leading edge, and then um, magic uh, are the first three chapters. And then it goes um, Yule. Um, another topic and it alternates between a sabbat and a certain other topic um, the author is an astrologer so um, you kind of get that influence in the book um, re the resources at the end of the chapters are like top the topic topic specific um, to that chapter which is um, good um, so this is another book um, that I've read in a, a, at this time period um, where there's like how do you use this book type of um, in the introduction and the author says, I'll start the section by explaining some of my non-standard grammatical choices when it comes to capital capitalization so you know what I mean when I refer to fire instead of fire so capital fire instead of low, lowercase fire um, nature instead of nature um, so like there's that a big part of the book's value is it is in the resources sections at the end of the chapters to keep the book from becoming a a tomb. I've given only a brief introduction to the topics I'm covering and a few basic exercises that's up to you and your intuitive sense of what's right for you and choose which topics you want to explore more in depth and in which order. So I like that the author put that in where um, they're can they say yeah I'm just giving you a starting point. I'm giving you some resources go from there, pick and choose what you want, type of thing. Um, and the author recognized, um, states that, um, I've organized this book around the eight divisions of the year that are scaffolding for of quite a few modern pagan traditions. Um, so, for each station we'll touch the earth, ground ourselves by establishing daily habits and then um, a few sentences will also kiss the sky intellectually concerning the meaning of the seasonal shifts by exploring personal beliefs and values and expa um, expanding our awareness and understanding the universe through study and co um, contemplation. So like there's going to be that um, balance of the grounding um, information and then you go in doing the resources and stuff yourself. So like you're going um, symbols, so science and astrology and consciousness, self-acceptance with the, the Sabbaths. Um, you're getting a little bit of intro information. Um, and then you get touch to the earth, kiss the sky. So um, a few different exercises. Um, like meditations, rituals, offerings. Um, it's not spiritual path specific, um, which can be good for, um, whoever picks this up. So it's not just green, like a certain branch of Wicca or, um, if you're a kitchen witch, it's not kitchen witch specific. Um... So, 
science on the bleeding edge. Um, scientists and priests do not, cannot have all answers to the mystery, mysteries of, of life on Earth. Um, so, like, with the Sabbaths, you get some, a uh, few pages of healing, um, and then, like, touch the earth, you get, um, a few different, um, some short, some longer, um, things to consider, and, um, and then, like, then you get the resources. Any wisdom gods and offerings, um, so, um, you get a bit of, um, selection of stuff to look at, and, um, so it's just, um, energy ritual, um, so, again, it's more, um, not, like, uh, it's more theology type of, um, thinking, um, but something to consider if you're not looking for a religious, um, specific book or a certain topic specific, this one, um, yeah, you are looking at um, the seasonal, um, term points, but it's more, um, I want to say theology, but, um, others might use something else, but, yeah, um, touch the earth, kiss the sky, happy readings.